Uh, valued viewers, today we're looking at some uh, interesting news coming out from the Mail Online, and it's, <laughs> I can't even believe some of the stuff I read out, uh, but it's about the M&M's candies, I know, I'm in the UK, and we've only just heard about all these uh, shenanigans, but uh, M&M's are replacing, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even believe this, uh, they're replacing their candy characters, uh, in the UK we'd call them sweets, not candies, but okay, uh, we'd, uh, the controversial sweet characters, with Maya Rudolph, uh, this woman from, uh, where is she? Um, let me give you a picture of her and um, this woman here they're replacing uh, the candies these sweets with this woman <laughs> okay because it, it was replacing its mascots because it didn't want to be polarizing how you polarize people with some uh, chocolates uh, is beyond me M&M's announced it would be doing away with its spokes candies all right yeah I can already see the problem after conservative commentators uh, tore into the company for rebranding the mascots as an inclusive and woke cast of characters Jesus Christ on a bike the candy company <laughs> announced on Monday it was placed it was placing an indefinite pause on the beloved anthropomorphized treats uh, this is an oxymoron. You can't have uh, an indefinite pause. A pause is a break between two things, and you can't do that indefinitely because then it wouldn't be a pause, would it? It'd be a stop. Uh, but there you go. Uh, anthropomorphized treats that have been the face of the brand for decades. Well, not anymore. They are out the door or in the bin, and uh, we'll replace them with comedian and Maya Rudolph dishes. <laughs> I like her on SNL. She does crazy characters. Uh, that's, that's really nice. Uh, the change comes after Tucker Carlson and other conservative commentators lambasted the company for reworking several of its mascots to reflect, oh God, a more dynamic progressive world. Oh, hashtag made for a modern audience, which included, right, okay, stripping the green M&M of her high heels. Oh yeah, de-sexifying her. Uh, making a pair of characters lesbian Nice. Announcing the orange M&M had an anxiety <laughs> disorder. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Well, what a bunch of Muppets, uh, literally. Uh, and Eminem said it was pausing use of the mascots. Right, so they did this and now they've had to bin it. <laughs> they've had to just check it out because everybody hated it so much. Uh, while speculating their removal uh, and the installation of Rudolph was hardly intended to promote inclusivity, but merely a ploy to boost publicity on the eve of the Super Bowl. I don't think so. I think they just, well, it went down so badly, they had to do something about it. They were getting uh, mocked. Uh, on every single social media channel, every TV channel, everyone's laughing at them, uh, mocking them, insulting them, all sorts of things. And they had to make a decision. The, uh, the higher ups said, look, what is this shenanigans you're pulling? Um, there's always a problem of taking away sexuality from women and reducing them down to these neutered, uh, genderless people. Because uh, they think any woman who's sexy is in some way pandering to men and that can't be allowed in this age of modern uh, third wave feminism so all sexuality of females is like brutally repressed and you're not allowed to be sexy that's why her boots got taken away and that's why she was uh, de-sexified um, anyway let's have a little look at their uh, pious hand-rigging statement uh, america let's talk in the last year we've made some changes to our beloved spokes candies that's a ridiculous word we weren't sure if anyone would even notice the lies. And we definitely didn't think it would break the internet. We didn't, the internet's working fine. But now we get it. Even a candy's shoes can be polarizing. Uh, this is called um, reducto ad absurdum. When you reduce someone else's argument down to an absurdity, um, that is a, called an argument fallacy called uh, reducto ad absurdum. And that's what they're doing here. They're saying, uh, even a candy shoes can be polarizing so they're trying to reduce the whole argument down to their shoes and saying oh, aren't you so silly complaining about the shoes what a bunch of idiots you are you know it's nothing serious it's just a bunch of shoes but it's more than shoes it's uh, reducing um, a person's sexuality even if they are candy it's um, it's changing people's uh, sexuality from uh, heterosexual to uh, lesbians it's uh, about bringing in uh, different characters it's a political statement it's not just some shoes uh, that's uh, a lie you're using uh, absurdo ad reductum uh, that's uh, reductum ad absurdum that's what you're using as an argument it's not right uh, which was the last thing m&ms wanted since we're all about bringing people together you're all about profit that's what you're about you're about making money and you found that this was so unpopular that you were losing money therefore you had to do something about it therefore we have decided to take an indefinite pause oxymoron from the spokes candies terrible word in their place we are proud to introduce uh, Maya Rudolph as you've seen in our picture of her already <laughs> we are confident 
Ms. Rudolph, uh -huh, will champion the power of fun to create a world where everyone feels they belong. So they're still going for this uh, progressive inclusion, equality, diversity line, uh, but they've just been uh, forced off this uh, push by, by all the commentators on television and on the internet laughing at them. There's some hilarious stuff going on. Um, <laughs> So let's have a look at this Tucker Carlson. He's comparing, uh, we've got the sexy green candy here and how she's been reduced to a uh, genderless utilitarian drone. <laughs> we've got uh, brown candy. Her heels have been reduced. She's now uh, desexified as well. We've now got, <laughs> we've now got body positivity uh, candy and uh, she's, what is what's she doing? She's there for herself or something. <laughs> something like that. She's there for, I don't know, uh, loving herself or some such gibberish and uh, new and improved we all win <laughs> we see more women in leading roles all, always pushing these woke mantras and on so on and so forth <laughs> oh yeah some lesbianism it's rare Ms Brown and I get to spend some time together without some colourful characters barging in says Ms Green uh, obviously oh and then we've got uh, more of their wokery we've got uh, the packaging was upside down or printed upside down because they're flipping the status quo of uh, female empowerment and some such uh, shenanigans. <laughs> and all this went down uh, like a bag of cold sick yet again. So they've now brought in Maya Rudolph to try and rescue the situation. <laughs> uh, brilliant. And uh, Eminem's are on indefinite pause and she's thrilled to be taken over. Uh, that's, that's what she's saying. She's thrilled to be working with Eminem's, she says, because she likes getting paid. I'm a lifelong lover of getting paid. I feel it's such an honour to be paid, uh, to be part of such a legendary brand's campaign and rescue them from their foolishness. Uh, there you go. Uh, she says, it's a very um, uh, profitable pairing, if I do say so myself. She says of her partnership with M&M's. I think uh, Maya, little Maya, uh, would be thrilled to get to be paid so much by M&M's. So that's lovely. That's lovely for her. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, what have they got? Let the green M&M, &M, there she is, uh, be a nasty little uh, girl. <laughs> the recent push to rebrand corporate logos to be more exclusive has, for the most part, been a good thing. Making Barbie more positive, uh, body positive, great. Renaming Aunt Jemima syrup about damn time. Yet in Brand's fervent quest to capture youth audiences and capture the woke zeitgeist, uh, they may have gone too far, yes. Uh, then <laughs> they've slut-shamed the green M&M &M and taken away her. Uh, sexuality so <laughs> what can you do with these people they attack everything and uh they've reduced they've reduced her down to just a, a utilitarian sexless drone and uh, we got some memes uh, hilarious woke memes about these uh, no longer existing people they've been uh woked to death <laughs> so this is like uh, their little hello page and uh, what they said they did and uh it's what Matt's saying. Why did they reverse yassify the green M&M? &M? Uh, yeah, she was all like saucy, and now she's not. Uh, Mike says, uh, said with the desperation of losing a loved one, M&Ms have gone woke. Uh, that's right. Edward, uh, hiding from the woke M&Ms <laughs> when they find out what we do to the inanimate ones. Uh, Laura says, we lost the voting rights bill, and now we're getting woke M&Ms. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and Captain Disillusion, he says, you walk in and Twitter is like, hey, you're here. Welcome to the Rager Bro. What are you drinking? NFT profile pics? Woke M&M's? <laughs> COVID updates? Brilliant. Uh, Honky Kong Country Returns. I, I used to like Donkey Kong. The Woke M&M's still eat their young, which is lovely. Uh, <laughs> I tolerate a world. M&M's are woke. Um, so there's a lot of M&M's are going woke. Can you imagine it? Uh, they've gone woke and they've gone broke immediately. <laughs> Uh, SF Gate saying the defeat of woke m &Ms gives him hope for the uh, the future. Uh, this guy's full on. He's like, my fellow anti-woke patriots and I scored our biggest victory yet in the culture wars. <laughs> I'm not sure it's the biggest victory yet because, uh, you know, it's chocolates. Uh, yes, this chocolate candy brand owned by these people will take an indefinite pause. Oxymoron. From using its spokes candies. Ridiculous portmanteau word. If you're not like me, <laughs> uh, then let me catch you up. The company's recently launched an all-female pack of chocolates, uh, which we saw, and they were going to flip the uh, script. And these packs included brown and green M&Ms, the traditional female characters. <laughs> they're, they're chocolates, they're not female. As well as a new peanut, purple peanut M&M. Uh, it was unusually shaped, seemed designed to represent body positivity and lesbianism and all sorts of good 
things. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh about this. Um, so this is from uh, this. Where is this from? <laughs> okay, my name's got Tucker Carlson. Green M&M got her boots back, but apparently is now a lesbian, maybe. And there's also a plus size. <laughs> there's plus size M&Ms. There's all sorts of there's commentators going on all over the place. Do not trust her. Purple M&M has added uh, was added to push acceptance. Uh-huh. <laughs> Keep focusing on giving people their own color M&Ms uh, while we, you know, take over all of the... Oh, yeah, this, this was saying this is going to eno- in, uh, enable China to uh, move in and uh, take over the country while we're all uh, arguing about uh, M&Ms. Well, I'm not in America, but you lot are arguing about M&Ms. The Chinese are going to invade. <laughs> Oh, there's Eminem's new packaging causing a stir. Uh, this packaging here, share size, sporting women flipping the status quo. Um, it was so bad, they've been cancelled. So, <laughs> check it out, Fox. Walk candies. Oh, brilliant. So, let me know your thoughts. <laughs> oh, hilarious. So, that's what you get uh, when you go woke. Uh, you lose your candies. That's basically. And you have to get a new spokesperson uh, who's, who's, in fact, a woman. So, you could call her a spokeswoman if you wanted to. But that would be a hate crime, I'm sure. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts. Are you going to buy any M&Ms? Um, I'm not. Uh, what have I got? I've got some Doritos. That's what I've got going on today. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And uh, that's about it. Like and subscribe. I <laughs> will see you guys later.